Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have an update on the Bitcoin price because uh, currently Bitcoin is again consolidating after reaching this $14,100 yesterday. So we are seeing very nice uh, bullish action during the weekend. But as I told you already many times my friends be very careful when trading on weekends because most of the times we retrace back to where we closed on Fridays the CMEs. So that would be at around $13,500 here in the spot market. So let's start now with the four hour time frames because if you watched my yesterday's live stream over on Twitch, I told you that we have a bearish divergence in the four hour time frame. We have a higher high in the price, but a lower high in the RSI. So that is a bearish divergence, which in theory tends to break out to the downside. And since we are also possibly forming this little rising wedge here, I think it is very likely that here pretty soon we're gonna maybe see a breakout to the downside and in that case the target would be at around twelve thousand nine hundred to thirteen thousand dollar also as you can see in my own indicator we have right now a confirmed sell signal so as long as we're trading along the 20 moving average in the four hour i think we are shifted to the upside but watch out if we're gonna have a close below this moving average so below thirteen thousand six hundred dollar i think we could initiate a possible little short lift dump here towards thirteen thousand dollar and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we're trading between the nine moving average and the 20 moving average here, right at $13,600. We also have the stochastic shifted to the downside and also the MACD could have a bearish cross pretty soon. So this could indicate that maybe we're gonna see this $13,600 retest pretty soon and potentially also go lower here towards 13,000 within today, possibly also on Monday when we're gonna start the CMEs again. So overall here, in the short term i'm expecting here some corrections to the downside even though we could be in here for another retest of this 14k of course since we are building up this potential rising wedge here and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that currently we're still far away from the 20 moving average right here $12,600 so if we're gonna have a major correction then watch out first for this support here at the 20 daily and then down here at the 50 daily moving average at around $11,100 so as long as we are trading within this channel that we are in now since many weeks be prepared that we could get rejected here and then bounce here again at $11,100 down at this area here before or maybe we're gearing up for another attack towards 14,000 and then possibly also create a higher high towards $15,000. I think that is very likely to come. But since we right now got a sell signal, I think there is a high chance that we could see here this possible pullback towards the support. And there we're gonna have to see if we're able to bounce again from it and head towards 15,000 or if from there we're gonna see a major correction to the downside, possibly to around $9,000 if we're not gonna see a big bounce here at the main support and the only reason why I think this could happen is because in the DXY we are breaking out from this falling wedge here in the daily and the target here in my opinion would be at least here towards the 200 daily moving average at $97 and this is really the only reason why I think Bitcoin could go again towards 9k because the DXY is looking like that it could start an attempt here to push higher since it's breaking out from the this important bullish pattern so even though the dxy is still in a bear market and we should expect the dxy to drop way lower there could be now a chance that we could see here short lift bounce to the upside before another continuation to the downside and therefore we could see the opposite in the bitcoin price another short lift dump before we gearing up here into new levels and even in the daily time frame, we can see currently a bearish divergence. We have here lower high in the RSI and the higher high in the price. So that's why there are some warning signs. And also since we are touching here the main resistance, I think here we could see a possible sell off towards the support. And there we're gonna see if we're gonna have another bounce to the upside or if we're gonna fall below here. And in that case, the target would be at around 9K because that was our old resistance, which now should be turning 
going into new support. And if we're gonna have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are still trading in the upper area. So in theory, we could still go towards $14,400, but if we're gonna have a close below the nine day moving average, so below $13,400, then be prepared for a correction at least towards 12,500. And in the worst case, if we drop below, the bottom right now is at 10,760, so at around $11,000. And this is also where I think we could be heading to if we're gonna see this pullback to the support and then have another bounce to the upside. I'm gonna start to scale in longs down here at $11,000, even though there is still the chance that we maybe could see a short lift wick to the downside towards 9K. But in that case, I will just scale in into my long position down to 9K. And if we go lower than that, then of course I will put a stop loss. But I think there is a very high chance that this 11K, maybe even towards 9K, will be the last time that we will see Bitcoin that low. And then we are gearing up here for new big pumps to the upside which will take us into new levels since bitcoin wasn't trading for too long above 14k so once we're gonna break this channel to the upside here i think we will go straight towards 18 20k and possibly even way way higher and now we can also have a look into the weekly time frame because here we are still looking very bullish we are trading above all the moving averages only the rsi of course is getting into very overbought conditions so a pullback even down towards the 20 weekly moving average is very likely and it's also lining up here right at our support of eleven thousand dollar if we have a look also into the 50 weekly moving average you can see that it's right at nine thousand two hundred dollar this would be my target in the worst case scenario if the dxy is really able to push higher since it's breaking out from this important pattern that i was watching here in the last couple of days but don't forget my friends bitcoin is still looking very bullish for the long term even though in the short term we could see a possible correction also, we had a very bullish monthly close yesterday. We closed right at the highs that we had here in June 2019. So even though we could see maybe this month or during December, a pullback even towards 9K, take it as a very good buy opportunity and start to scale in big longs because for the long term, you will be doing very nice gains. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. So the conclusion is short term, pullback possible, long term, buy everything you can because Bitcoin is going into new levels very soon. So if we're gonna see a pullback like we often do also during bull markets, take it as a very good buy opportunity. Don't panic sell or anything like that because Bitcoin is just at the beginning here of a next big parabolic run to the upside and if you also want to trade over on bybit or femex where you can trade bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage then use the links that you find down below here in the video description with my referrals you will get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel and if you're interested in my own indicator you can contact me over on discord and of course also you can join my free discord trading chat all the links are down below here in the video description so thank you very much for watching my friends hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye